Hello friends, welcome again. So in this video we are going to add the photo path to the database and for that I have created a post model and migration and the post has the ID, title and image path and created that and updated that. Also in the post model I add the fillable protected fillable for title and the image path and now in the welcome I'm going to add the input for title so add a div and in this I'm going to add the class margin 2 and padding 2 and here add a label for title and an input with type text and the name is going to be title okay save this go to the browser and refresh and here it is the title now in the file controller when we have this upload we check if we have a file here and we get the file, new file, and the file name here or file path is going to be here because this return the path. So if I say again path and save, so refresh this and choose a file, open. Yeah, we get this path from this uh, store method. And uh, if you want to change the name, so by default the Laravel is going to hash that the hash name here. If you want to change the name and say uh, you want to add the ID of the image of the post, so say us and here specify the new name. So I'm going to say new name. And if I save and go back, refresh, choose a file. And now we have images and the new name we added. But I don't want this. I am okay with a hash name given from the Laravel. Now we check if we have a file and we assign the file path to a new file storage image. And here I'm going to create a post. So I'll say post and import the post and say create and add the title. Sorry. Title, which is going to be dollar sign request title and the image path. Okay, here we have the image path is going to be the file path so file path and save now if I uh, go back and refresh choose a title and the file click open upload refresh and if I go now here and refresh here we have an image path which is images slash the name dot png okay uh, now how we can uh, get the URL of the path so if you go to the Darabe documentation of the file system if I run this php artisan storage link so copy and paste that in the terminal so it's going to create a new link and i'm going to display here more nicely so in this now public we have storage is a symlink from this storage here storage 
and images is the same as images we have here okay and uh, with that now we can access with assets and give it the storage and the file path so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, die and dump and the same thing if we have here asset storage slash and the file path so if i say file path save and uh, come here and refresh or instead of that i'm going to die and dump before we create the post so just a display to you save refresh here choose a file open upload and now we get the full path so the http app dot test and storage images and so on if i copy this and paste it here enter and we get the image okay so let's remove this and go to the welcome and in here first we need to go to the web php and i'm going to say dollar sign post posts is going to be post model import that and get all the posts and paste it here so compact posts save this now in the welcome we get we have the posts here so i'm going to add the div with the class margin 2 and padding 2 and make a for each loop here dollar sign posts as a post and here with we'll display h1 for the title or h2 so let's say h2 for the title so dollar sign post title and the image so add a div with class of padding uh, 2 and also margin 2 and maybe with it's going to be 72 okay and here add the image with the source so the same thing we added here the asset asset and say storage slash a dot dollar sign post image path and save go back and yeah we have the title and the image and this is one way the, we can do also with the uh, storage help uh, assault so if i copy and paste and instead of that i'm going to say a storage and url and the post uh, image path image path and save come here and refresh and we get two of them and here we just say the, the last sign post image and if I inspect we have the same thing you see here and we have exactly the same thing or uh, you can do is go to the post controller post model sorry and say here create 
function public function and say url or image url so image url and return the same thing we have in the welcome blade so return this but instead of post say I'll assign this image path save here and also import the storage and go to the uh, welcome and instead of that we can say dollar sign post and image url okay so the image url we created here and if i refresh we get exactly the same thing so the welcome controller now we remove this one save and refresh yeah if i create another one so second choose an image open upload and go back and we have the second here and the images here so that is how we can uh, upload images and uh, I want to show you how we can you can delete the image is very easy if you go to the documentation and I'm going to search for delete and here we have storage delete and the file or if we have in the different disk which we need to specify the disk but in this case we don't have so in the file controller I'm going to say come here and refresh so we have a two posts and in the images we have a bunch of them and that's it's not good so i'm going to remove all of them delete yeah also run the artisan migrate flash seed so right now we don't have anything refresh yeah here and refresh we don't have any and go and create first one so uh, first choose the file open upload go back and yeah here it is now in the storage we have images and we have only one how we can delete that so i'm going to do that right now if we have an image i'm going to delete the first one and add only, leave only one so say storage first we need to get the uh, post so the assign post get the first post post and find the post with id one right now we have only one so if i refresh yeah but uh, i want just you to this to show you how we can delete and say now storage delete and give it a sign post image path and after that i'm going to create a new one so the first one is going to be without image because we are going to delete and this we are going to create a new type a new post and here also it's going to be only one image because the first one we are going to delete 
So, so the first one is going to be only with title and without image. Let's create the second one. Say second. Choose a file. And let's choose this one. Click upload. Go back. And you see here, the first is not having an image. The second, yes. And also in here, if I refresh, we have only Im one image. And here we have two uh, posts. Okay, friends, that is how we can upload and delete images with Laravel. Hope you like and see you in the next one. Please subscribe and like the video. All the best.